just after a game last night, uh, does your body tell you you've had nine blocks, or do you, do you look at the score sheet and say, wow, that's something? Uh, no, it wasn't too bad. A um, couple of them got me in the stick and stuff, so those ones are always nice. I know, you know, you, uh, they say you're popular in the locker room. Guys appreciate what you do, um, and you know it's a part of your job. But those things look like they hurt so much. And I was wondering, like, how do you, like, what, what's the mindset and how are you wired to just, you know, kind of take those, you know? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, growing up in Duluth, we had a Bantam coach who was kind of a nut job. And I remember him, like, shooting real pucks at us in practice, like working on fronting shots. And um, so from there, it just kind of became kind of second nature, I guess. What's it like for you guys being able to come back home, pull off that win, and, and what role does the crowd play for you guys? Um, you know, when they start going wild, does that give you guys a little extra oomph while you're out there? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, especially like you know when you get caught out there on maybe a long shift, and um, you know you kind of hear them cheering you on for like a big save or you know a block or something like that, and it just kind of gives you that little bit of energy to you know push through and uh, you know finish the shift. Derek, after the the one you take off the foot. You couldn't get off there for a while. What, what are you trying to do just to to ride it out until your guys can clear the puck? Um, yeah, I mean, just I was just at that point, I was just trying to take up some space in the net front. Um, hopefully, we're just praying we'd get it clear and I could get off. And, and also, it's it's not just your your job to fill that lane for a Sveshnikov. You're trying to do several things at at one time. What else are you thinking about in terms of? Avoiding other plays, taking away certain looks in that um, situation. Yeah, I mean, well, it just kind of depends where the puck is set up. And, um, you know, usually if D'Angelo has it up top, you, I can kind of read that he's going to go over to Sveshnikov, and then, you know, I can, that's my job to get out in that lane. Um, but if it's, like, more on, like, you know, Carlos' side, then I have, like, other lanes that i got to take away just from, like, you know, guarding the passing lane as opposed to blocking a shot. I think it was Marshawn yesterday who said, like, you need players who are willing to give up their bodies if you're trying to win a playoff series, win a Stanley Cup. Um, one, like for you, understanding that being part of your role, how much kind of do you do you embrace it? And then two, were there guys that you can look back and say like, no, nah, that's like a model for who's willing to like sacrifice and and as, as kind of encompasses. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Everyone on our team is you know willing to block shots, especially at this time of the year. Um, you know, that's not a question. Um, you know, someone that I got to play with and you know watched a lot was uh, Matt Green I don't know if you guys remember him but he was just an animal the way he played in block shots and he was kind of someone I tried to you know model my game after especially on the PK at what point in your career did you realize that this was going to be your role in your identity and and did you have to convince yourself that this is what I need to do um I've always kind of had like a you know a knack for the defensive side of the puck. Um, I think you know, in probably my my second year in the minors when I got you know Mike Stuthers as a coach um, is when I really kind of kind of grew into my identity and who I needed to be as a player to play in the NHL. Anything else? Thanks, Derek. Yeah. Thanks.